This pro ranked MCW class setup is new and absolutely broken. The best CDL players, Scump, Scrappy, Dashy, Selium are all using this build. This has no recoil, beams from long range, and I was destroying pubs with this. I can't even imagine what it'll do in ranked play. If you guys are enjoying the videos, please hit that like button, comment down below if you guys play ranked, and of course subscribe. I want to thank y'all. We are so close to 500 subscribers. Absolutely insane the community we are building here, so thank y'all. For the best MCW Pro rank class setup that a lot of the streamers and CDL pros are using is for the muzzle. You're going to want to use the L4R flash hider because it's going to improve muzzle flash concealment and help a ton with recoil control and gun king control. And for the barrel, this is the best barrel for the MCW, the 16.5 inch MCW Cyclone Long Barrel because it's going to give you hit scan with that bullet velocity range, aiming at a sway is going to be improved and firing aim stability so you're going to have no visual recoil. And for the underbarrel, you're going to want to use the X10 Phantom 5 hand stop because this is going to improve recoil control vertically, gun kick control, and it's going to help with mobility with sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed. And then for the rear grip, you're going to want to use the RB Claw PSL grip because it's going to help a ton with firing aim stability, gun kick control, recoil control, and it's not going to affect ADS speed. And finally, for the CDL and rank playlist, you have to use the MK3 reflector or an optic but this is pretty much the best class setup that you guys can use for rank and for the perks i use for pubs at least i use the stun grenades engineer vest scavenger gloves to pick up ammo when i'm running low covert sneakers so they can't hear me quick fix and eod padding so i don't die from lethals yeah this pro mcw class setup is actually pretty good and uh, oh shit that's one i saw somebody run up here where is he? he's probably upstairs trying to look at our spot real quick where is he at Oh shit, he's right there, yo. At this guy. Man, I this was one of my favorite maps in Modern Warfare 2, Farm 18. I don't know, something, it's like a medium sized map. It was just a good map overall compared to a lot of the other Modern Warfare 3 map, Modern Warfare 2 map. Oh, two piece right there. I almost died right there. Anybody else here? Let me just get the fuck out and then reload my weapon. Yep. Yeah, because a lot of the Modern Warfare 2 maps, they're like huge, bro. Oh my god, I'm probably dead. Oh. Oh my god, I'm lucky that he had a shotgun and missed the fucking shot. I would've been, I almost got one tap right there. Alright, wait, I see this guy beam. Look, no recoil with this build. Yep. And I'm using it in pub just so you guys can have a general idea of how it is in long range, mid range. So you guys can see how fire this class kind of setup is. Alright, let's see right here. Anybody here? That'd be a little so I'm like one away from my helo. This guy's AFP, what the fuck is he doing? Alright, get my helo support just so you can tell me where the enemies are at. Get some few kills right here. Uh, nobody right here. Oh, I see that guy. What the hell are you doing, bro? That's not even a good spot to hide. Alright, I see anybody in this spawn. I don't know where. I think they're spawning by the hard point. I don't see nobody in the other spawn. And I don't know what my teammates are doing. You see those two like, dumb heads just sitting over there? What the hell are they doing, bro? Oh, what the fuck? I didn't even hear him pull out, bro. What? I think it was like one off my freaking advanced UAV. It's all good. I'll, I'll catch up. I'll turn up again. All right, let's see anybody here. He might be pushing for the side route right here. Wait. Yo, I know that looks up. Wait, somebody else is over there. See me. Yeah. Oh, my helo. W helo. And they're all over here in this spawn. Let me try to sneak up on them. Somebody's above. Get this guy right. Oh, this guy's running away. You're not going anywhere, bro. This guy over here camping. Is he shooting my shit? Nope. He's just, he's still AFK. And then a guy above here. I'm gonna see if he's. Oh no, he's already moving to the hard point. That's a good thing. Oh, oh I saw another guy far there. Somebody might kind of. I might intercept someone right here. Come on, pull up. Yep, that's one. I see another guy. Two. Another guy right here. Three. Oh my god. Four. Fucking shit on this whole team right here. Good shit, Mythos. Alright, let's see. And I saw the new. Um, completionist camo for season five the new prestige camo bro that shit look kind of fire bro but I, I don't know how much xp it is if it's 300,000 or something like that that's absolutely insane bro i don't know what i can do or 350,000 that's way too much grinding i might do it just my, for my favorite weapons but that's it just because i already have you know pretty much obsidian on it but we're starting from scratch jesus ggs bro good luck getting me to grind i'd rather grind another mastery camo 
do a whole bunch of challenges for different weapons and they do a whole new one. Personally, that's what I would rather do. But yeah, in Modern Warfare 3, there's gonna be like a new season coming out. Of course, I know you guys heard it and I think I said in my last video about the cell shading finally. I saw pictures and know what they meant. It's almost more of that Borderlands type of shading. If you guys don't know what Borderlands is, it's pretty much like an FPS shooter, I believe. I'm not sure if it's an FPS, but it's a shooting game. Um, you can Google it. It's oh, wall bang. Oh shit, my hero killer. But it's gonna be. I feel like it's gonna be a nice variant to add. A swarm right here. Yeah, fifteen. It's gonna be a nice variant to add to you know rust, um, ink house, shipment just to kind of switch up the pace right here. What the hell is this guy doing? He, this way you use heroes, bro, because people get so hyper fixated on them. They don't. They lose their freaking map awareness situational awareness and you just get easy kills so as long as you have you know situational awareness this guy's been like hey, oh what the hell is he doing waiting for someone to pull up there's somebody over here no but yeah so they're adding the new stash house is going to be called ink house the new shipment map or i'm not even sure what the shipment map is called oh it's called it's going to be called south ship look at this guy i'm not team. i'm so close to and the new rust map is going to call tuna side, tuna side, tuna oxide, one of those things. T um, rust is going to be nighttime now, so that's going to be interesting. Shipment's going to be daytime, Satch House is going to stay daytime. But I'm excited for an, a daytime shipment. Oh, and DNA Bomb, let's fucking go turn me the fuck up, bro. This is why I use this build, I'm telling you guys. But day, um, shipment's going to be fired with that daytime appearance. I personally think I prefer, you know, morning maps. Some people prefer night maps. One end maps are just fire just because the visibility, you get to see everything. There's less people camping in quarters because you can see, oh shit, everything. They're all over here. Come on, wait for this guy to come out. Yep. Get this guy pre shoot, pre aim, pre aim. Oh fuck, I'm a sold right there, bro. He was so focused on my teammate. Another swarm as well. Call that bitch in. Oops, sorry. I'm going to try less of hers because I know I want to be family friendly here. Turning up right here. Wait, get yeah, this guy, some some guys right here. Some guys behind me, fuck, I saw that dude too. And I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna just send it. Juke on that guy. But he got me first. So yeah, Russ is gonna be nighttime. That's gonna be interesting. But maybe with the cell shitting, it's gonna be a little bright. It's not gonna be too dark. Uh, and I'm grateful that they're not adding, you know, night vision map. Do you remember that one DLC map they added in Modern Warfare 2? Where you can only use no, you know, get this guy. The fuck are you doing? Stop running away. Oh, team, you got it. Where in the middle of the map, you have to use the night vision goggles, NVGs, but outside the map, you have to use them. I kind of hated that, because then you have to, like, pretty much hit fire with a laser or something like that. Like, tax stands fire. Oh, shit. Uh, I stopped shooting. I thought I'd kill them. But I always hated that, just because you can't even see the camos. You can barely see people. People are camping. It just made it slow. Like, I guess some people are like, oh, shit, hold up. Oh, what the hell? Oh my god, what the hell are y'all doing back there, bro? But some people, you know, like myself, like, no, not like myself, but they liked it just because it was almost like a real sim, you know, simulating real life, you know, map and stuff, but I don't think Call of Duty is that. I think there's different games that simulate real life more, so I, don't, I think Call of Duty is far from realistic, but some people don't want to accept that. All right, let's go. The game is about to end too. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get another one because my all my team is like locked in at the hard point. You see that? Damn. They're playing like it's a CDL right now. And so it's trying to fry out, get as much kills to finish off the game right here. Yeah, anybody here? Yeah, that guy's been moving the whole game, but he's been getting shit on. All right, I'm gonna get my heal in a little bit. Oh, but game's about to end. Come on, any any last kill right here? Nope, but that's GG's. Great game.